me and Trace out for a lovely walk this morning. There he is. Couldn't pick a noisier spot to walk, but heading back to the workshop to learn how to thread the wire into the MIG, the MIG welder. So the idea of it is, I'm only, only a bit of a beginner when it comes to the MIG welding side of it. I've been stick welding for a while, but um, I just wanted to show the beginners out there and it's not that hard. You can buy a welder. You can buy a welder for under 300 bucks, a MIG welder, and just have a go with the gasless, gasless wire and it doesn't, um, it's easy. It's not too hard. You can do those little jobs at home and you don't have to pay someone to do it. And once you pay the, buy the welder, you've, you've got it there for good then and you can just, you know, do those little jobs here and there. Whew, a bit hot. So we'll head back to the workshop and we'll try and feed some wire on. I bought some uh, gasless MIG wire to start with. I bought a big five kilo spool, but I should only bought a little one because I'm thinking of getting some gas. But anyway, we'll go through the gasless wire first, practice on that. We can, um, I've got a few jobs to do. I showed you the, the cutting, the mower cutting deck. And um, so I'm going to do a bit of, do a bit of panel beating and uh, fill some holes up with some steel plate and the MIG, the MIG comes in handy for that it'll be perfect yeah so I've also I've got a trailer a box trailer it needs a new floor in it so I'm thinking when I get a little bit better at the MIG welding we're gonna cut the floor out and put a new floor in it and um, and try and get that so that the sand when you put sand in it doesn't fall all, all fall on the ground so we'll see you back at the workshop actually that's another thing Main reason I bought the welder that I did, MIG and stick. I think you can put a TIG torch on it too, but I've, I've got to do some research on that. So the re main reason I bought this one is because it's a, the biggest one, sort of the most powerful one you can get with a 10 amp plug on it. So I can virtually take it, take it to my mate's place and do some work if I need to. Do some little odd jobs. And I don't have to be worried about um, having a 15 amp, 15 amp lead with me, 15 amp socket so right oh, no, back to the workshop now alrighty we're back from our walk let's feed some wire onto the big well here's the wire that I bought Oop, gasless 0.9 four and a half kilos now here's the instructions for setting up the gasless MIG part of it. You can get this online as well. Oh yeah. Let's get the welder down here and put some wire in it. Oh yeah, first things first, open her up. Take that off. Now remember this is the first time I've ever done this, so it looks like that's the end of the Oh, I just see. All right, first things first. Open this up. Wire gets fed through there. Once once the spool's on, wire gets fed through there. Blah blah blah. We've got to make sure we got the correct sized roller on. So. It says it on the side, that's 1.0, that's 0.8. Now, this is 0.9 wire, that's the, that's the 0.9 side. I don't know if you can see, this one's all knurled around there. It's designed for the gasless wire to get to grip on it as it goes through so that's the point nine side it'll go on uh, it'll go on that way so that the point nine side lines up with the inside there lines up with the the wire feed 
Now, we'll feed him on. Make sure you get that little that little circle lined up with the little knob just there. Make it up. Now tighten him up. Now, you want to make sure the spool's running so that the wire comes off the bottom. Off the bottom that way and straight into there. Now this is tricky, you've got to take this off and keep tension on it, otherwise the spool will unravel. So we'll cut the end of that off. Right. So feed, make sure it's on that. Oops, I forgot to put that cap back in. Uh, as you feed it through. Too much to shit. Right, uh, let's turn it on and I'll show you how we feed that through. Right, yeah, we'll switch it to mid setting. See just up here is a little button that's an inch button that um, you push that little button and it'll feed the wire back through to the nozzle. Before you feed it through you need to take the nozzle off and also take the tip out. It just helps it so that the wire doesn't have to try and line up with that little hole. So I'll take that out. And when you push this button up here, and that'll inch the wire feed out. There we go. Put the tip back on. And put the nozzle on. I have been told you don't need this nozzle for gasless welding, but just for the purposes of me doing it for the first time, we'll leave it on. I think it looks better with it on. And we'll nip him be a yay far out. All right, I think we're ready to go. Oh well, thanks for watching. I hope um, I hope you got a little bit out of this video. It was the first time I'd ever run, put any wire in the MIG. So um, yeah, I hope you learned something. Um, as you can see, I'm not an expert. I'm just a bloody basic handyman that's trying to do a little bit of work for myself. As I showed you in the last the last video, I've got this little job here I'm doing for a mate. I'm going to cover these holes up with some steel plate, and I've also got to weld his weld that wheel back on there. So that'll be coming up shortly. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. It helps out my channel and it's greatly appreciated. 
And um, yeah, see you in the next one.